Israel owns everything. This war has taught me something and should have taught many other Muslims that we need to get a move on. We need to start doing our own things. Israel own and control everything. And if they don't own it or control it, these companies are associated with Israel. Things like what we drink and what we eat and what we wear, even the programs that we use, the softwares that we use, the internet that we use, the social media that we use. Apparently social media is for us to voice and educate others, but that is all censored and it's controlled by them. It's about time us Muslims take things in our own hands. Alhamdulillah, Muslims who have lived in the West, now it's your opportunity for the things that you studied, your professionalism, to help the Muslim Ummah. Depending on your specialty and your professionalism, you can help the Ummah. Muslims who are working in the food industry make food better than what the Israelis own. Brands, sporting brands, clothing, brothers and sisters, alhamdulillah, we have people who are out there who have the capability of making beautiful quality clothing that we Muslims should be supporting and helping and buying from them. This is how we build a strong bond again in the Muslim Ummah. And that's what the Zionists do. What the Zionists did was they, they supported one another. As far as Muslims, sadly, we are only out to rip each other off. This is wrong. We need to support one another now more than any other time. Muslims who are able, wallahi, this is something very important. Muslims who have the background of IT and programming, build a Muslim Islamic social media platform. Anything we put to educate others, it's censored, it's taken down, anything. I'm not surprised if this video gets taken down. But wallahi al-azim, we need to, you've got 1.9 billion Muslims. That is already your audience. That is already your following. Enough for the Israelis and those who are supporting them to control my life and your life. To control what we eat and what we drink, what we watch, what we dress. It's time for the Muslim Ummah to wake up. And it's time for the Muslim Ummah to invent things like them, but even better. And it's time for the Muslim Ummah to start buying from each other and supporting one another. And this is how the Ummah will rise again.